right uh, so this is called parallel ledgers parallelly we are maintaining number 1 zero one ledger d1 d2 so like this any number of ledgers you can post and at the time of posting you can choose so enter general posting for the ledger group so what you can do you can choose any ledger group whatever you want right to what is the ledger that you want that is connected to our company code so d1 d2 or 0l means normal our ledger so i can post accounting entries to only one ledger right or combination of ledgers so whatever i want i can do that and uh, what is the purpose of this i told you already uh, when you are going to report to the any other country uh, legal requirements now if i want the us so if i have raised my funds in the us market i have to submit my us um, so books of accounts in us dollars and as per the fiscal year variant and if i am raising the funds from european market i can submit my books of accounts in the european market for whatever the currency that i want i can post right i can submit so that is the purpose of parallel ledgers so parallelly you can maintain any number of ledgers but you can have only three currencies one company code currency plus two other currencies that you need to remember so this is called right maintaining of the parallel ledgers next we have one more thing document splitting is there what is meant by document splitting document splitting is nothing but splitting of a document as per the requirements of the company means uh, what is the requirement how what is meant by document splitting i'll show you so document splitting is nothing but right splitting of a document office rent account retar say business area hyderabad so business area chennai to bank now if i am going to post an accounting entry say i am posting manually 400 600 here right so my uh, office rent account business area hyderabad business area chennai to bank from from my head office account i am posting i am posting to all these things now if i want to prepare my balance sheet and pnl account as per the business area if this is done i cannot do it because if i have to prepare my balance sheet right bank account also should be split into both business areas business area hyderabad business area chennai at the time of posting itself you can post it but that is all the cases not possible because uh, when i am posting a accounting entry in case of sales in case of purchases all those documents will be posted through other modules so when you are posting through the other modules right you cannot post manually like this here i have taken business area but in real scenario generally we take profit center accounting profit center wise document i want to get it split so by default i want the system to uh, split the document by profit center wise so what are the purchases if i am making right if you want to read the document and read on the document splitting of course i'll send you uh, one document on document splitting and uh, parallel ledgers i think maybe let me check if it is today or tomorrow i'll send it
here business transactions document splitting information on document splitting all of you read this right don't miss see here for example suppose vendor invoice containing the following items yeah, it is entered so payables 100 expense 40 60 here payables means vendor account is going to be created with 100 and purchases 40 60 okay now if I am going to prepare my balance sheet as per the segment here segment or business area or um, profit center whatever it may be here segment one segment two so we have purchased here expense means nothing but purchases because here he says uh, payables right so payable account is created and expense account are debited with segment one segment 2 segment 1 40 segment 2 60 now this liability it is only one line item so in which segment it is going to be posted so if I want the document to be split this table should be split so that's why document splitting then create the following document in the general ledger view in the general ledger view tables segment 1 table segment 2 Expense segment 1, expense segment 2. Once the document is split, it should be 40, 60. Right? So, like this, whatever the document you want to split it, that as per the requirement, you can split it. That is the purpose of document splitting. Right? And if tables 1, tables 2, so 40, 40, 60, 60, both can be posted separately into the balance sheet. Similarly, this one, in case of discount is there, how a discount document should be split, just you go through it, right, so here a lot of information is given, read it. You can use the document splitting procedure to split up the line items for the selected dimensions, um, dimensions such as receivables, lines by profit center, profit center, segment, whatever it may be. So that is only for the purpose of preparing the segmental wise profit and loss accounted balance sheet and profit center wise uh, balance sheet, something like that for that purpose, right? So read this. Here, classify jail accounts as per the document splitting. So what are the jail accounts that you have? You have to classify the jail accounts. Standard is given. My chart of accounts is DRCA new entries right what I can do all the accounts assets and liabilities say category first of all here there are so many categories are given say balance sheet account balance sheet account is nothing but 1000 So what balance sheet account you can do? So what I can do is uh, zero balance posting, cash discount, customer vendor, so balance sheet account. say 1 lakh 1 to say 1 lakh 100 right, this is balance sheet account similarly like that all accounts you have to assign say cash account
So cash and bank account. Two hundred four not five. Sorry, two hundred four not one two. Two hundred five hundred. So here, what I am doing is, SAP system has given us categories and said that please you define your GL accounts based on the categories whatever I have given you because we are going to make the document split. In order to split the document, you need to understand the each and every nature of account right and that categories he has given that category has to be assigned for each and every nature of account say for example here say expenses 20,000 revenue 30,000 say what I can do here expenses 4 lakhs 1 2 I can take 4 lakhs I can give all and uh, next revenue thirty thousand. So I can say. 3 lakhs, 3 lakhs 1, 2, 3 lakhs, so all the accounts will come here, balance sheet account, cash like this, okay, now, <coughs> okay, like this, whatever the nature of account, all accounts you can uh, assign based on the categories, whatever that have been given here. I need to categorize. It gives message, just read the message and say yes. Then coming to classified document types, document not required. Define zero balance clearing account. So zero balance clearing account is nothing but when document got split when document is split into two line items, if there is any undivided or uh, which cannot be divided into um, ex equal equally, so then what system says that when you are going to split the document, uh, the split document should have zero balance again, means there should not be any difference. So for that purpose, we need to create one uh, zero balance clearing account. The purpose of this account you will understand once we split the document and I will show you. So zero balance you can create any asset or liability account whatever it may be. You can say another liability second create. Last account I'm creating. One not one one hundred. First of all, you have to create a GL account. So FS zero zero. Create other liabilities. Zero balance clearing account. zero balance clearing account. This one
what you need to do is here line item display it should be a open item you know what is meant by open item so open items are nothing but system will take care of the clearing of the operator oh, sorry sorry uh, this is balance sheet only balances in local currency what system is saying some over a moment only allowed for the balance sheet accounts Are we not taken balance sheet account? Other liability? Okay, okay, sorry. We made a small mistake. Here, we have to select balance sheet account. Right? Now system will allow you. So here what I need to do, zero balance clearing account, standard account for zero balance, select this, click on accounts, chart of accounts, sorry DRCA, Click on new entries, enter your account number, tell to the system this is my zero balance account. So zero balance account is going to be used for the purpose of splitting the document and if any difference it will be posted here. Define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting. Define document splitting characteristics. Let's see what is this. So this is the standard one. Document can be split by business area wise, profit center wise, segment wise. <coughs> right? So you can split the document right whatever the thing you want you can use you can remove other things and you can use maybe you want to split the document by business area wise or profit center wise segment wise so here i need not do anything and uh, there is the profit center field there is a technical name of the this one right so here i don't want to do anything the standard already it is given Define document splitting characteristics for controlling this is not required. Define post capitalization of the cash discount. Edit. Activate document splitting. Here we need to activate it. Right here, check this box. But the problem is, once this is checked, it is applicable to all company codes. At client level, everybody will get a problem now that uh, they have to define the document splitting. So that's why once our class is over, I'll deactivate it again. But the uh, during this time, if somebody gets a problem, so they have to wait and... Uh, and you can inactive by company code wise. Right, inactive, if you check the box, mm, box, it will be inactive. Right, this is inactive. If I don't select, this is active mode. So here what I have done, document splitting has been activated. Right. Okay.
so I want to post one entry let me check say for example <coughs> so what I'm doing I'm going to post say for example 400 302 this is telephone expenses here what I do uh, a simple small amounts I'll take say 400 cost center some cost center will take test for document splitting second line item again I am taking 40 same 400 302 right so two line items I am posting second line item what I do I post 600 okay this is the only for the sake of amount I am giving that's all a little test for document this one 50 20405 bank account so those two account are debit bank account is created so this is going to be start that is 1000 this is going to be plus to warn you, <coughs> telephone expense account data, telephone expense account data to Axis Bank head office account. Okay, and uh, now this line item should get split. Okay, so in order to split that, what I can do is simulate. Let me check in the simulation mode whether I can get the documents fit or not. I think I have to give the number range. Okay, we have already given. See, this is the simulated entry. So now what I will do is, Okay, let me save the entry. Let me check. Fifty three document, fifty three was posted. Four lakh one to four lakh nine nine expense account has been given. Bank account has been given. If you don't give, system will ask. <coughs> okay. Now let me see. Display. Four hundred six hundred. Oh ho ho! I made a small mistake here. have not given the business series. Okay, dummy profit center wise it will take. Let me see. General ledger view.
<coughs> so GS classification, zero balance, different document printing characteristics. Yeah. Let me post one more entry. Four hundred three not three I'll post. I take here say seven hundred business area I need to give business area overseas doctor delapse okay, let me check what business areas we do have we have DRB and Bangalore and uh, DR Chennai DRHY Hyderabad I'll take DRHY and DRCH Okay, DRHY. On the second line item also, again I am taking 40. 403. Here I will take 300. Cost center 101. Test for document splitting. 50 my bank account stars plus right 1000 Acha, second line business area I have not given business I want to change the business area. Okay, there's a problem here. Mm -hmm. Because the reason, see, though I have not given business area, system has taken DRHY. Can anybody tell me why system has taken DRHY? Rajesh or Anusha? I have not, for first item I have given business area DRHY. But second line item I have not given, but still system has taken. Can I change this? What Rajesh? You have an idea? <coughs> Anusha? Are you there? Yeah. I think can you think why system has, though I have not given business area here, system has taken business area? Is it related to cost center? Excellent. You are 100% right. Because in the in this cost center we have given business area Hyderabad. So that is the reason it has taken. Now let me check whether any if I change business area in all business areas I have given Hyderabad business area here if I take this also DRHY I cannot change you now in the cost center otherwise I have to I'll do one thing otherwise. I'll create one more cost center. Case. K. 
KS01 is creation. What I will do is 1000 for I'll create valid from 01 04 2013. I'm creating 1004. Just test person responsible car center category L maintenance hierarchy area take finance division and business area. So business area what I will do? I am taking DRCH second line item. Right, 1004 I will take now. DRH by DRCH. Now, document has been split. See here, zero balance account. This 1000 is split into and posted here. Say for example, why system has given like this? See, exactly 7, 3. This 1000 has been divided into 700 and 300. But plus minus, plus minus. The reason being, 1000, okay, if you are going to take 700 only, 700, 1700, 1300, where it will be posting? Because when you are going to post, there should be debit and credit. So that's why here, the same 1000 has been debited into here, debited, credited, debited, credited. When you are going to prepare my balance sheet account, Right, here this one, this is minus figure, this minus minus, it will be posted to zero balance account and system when it is going to take the balance sheet account, in the asset side it will take minus 300, 700, other, other amount it will be posted on the, see the, everything will be posted in the zero balance account, this is only for the sake of preparing uh, say business area wise balance sheet. Now I need business area wise where it is showing. Here column is not there. But anyway in the accounting entry it is there.
almost both are seen So anyway, so when it is posted, 1000 is posted in the Axis Bank account. But when you are going to prepare balance sheet, right, office maintenance is go to PNL account and uh, to the respective balance sheet if you are going to see system will not take access bank account like this but it will represent in the form of a zero balance account and this is a balance sheet account and uh, when you prepare a balance sheet it will take 700 and 300 that minus and minus this is going to be right uh, the balance in amount 700, 300 it is going to be shown in the balance sheet account. This is only for the purpose of uh, say for example when I am preparing my balance sheet for business area wise here I will show you see here business area wise or profit center wise profit center wise Okay, see balance sheet by profit center 1, balance sheet by profit center 2 or balance sheet or um, okay balance sheet uh, by profit center, profit center or business area whatever it may be. Here I am taking as profit center okay. Now what is entry we have posted that some expense account that are to balance to bank account we have taken. Now if I am going to take My, prepare my balance sheet right it will take that um, zero balance account this side and this side say I am taking one more example I'll give you if I am buying raw material right expense account to vendor account this vendor account will get split now instead of vendor we have taken bank account vendor account will get split now here raw material account it is raw material account is going to be say for example instead of that that entry you have taken this raw material account data raw material account data this is raw material account data profit center 1 profit center 2 to vendor account now when i am going to if i am going to prepare my balance sheet by business area that profit center wise if I am going to take only 100, if you don't take this, how can I prepare balance sheet? I cannot prepare because see balance sheet profit center 1, profit center 2. Here raw material 30 and uh, segment uh, profit center 2 raw material 70 okay now 100 rupees vendor account is there vendor account should be shown as a liability side which li if it is only 100 is there you cannot show liability that is the reason what if complete code level wise if you are doing it right this is 40 30 70 right 100 rupees that is 30 70. If company code wise you are preparing no problem because raw material is a current asset that's why I am taking here and this is a payable credit side that is sorry liability side but the problem you get only if you want to prepare by profit center wise. So when you are going to prepare profit center wise you can take say inventory of raw material here inventory of raw material here 30 70 then liability side you cannot take. So that's why liability side what system will take this account it will take the zero balance account it will take just 
for all things it will take zero balance account zero balance account 30 here also zero balance 70 now raw metal this side zero balance account zero balance account is nothing but this is for instead of sundry ketals it is taking zero balance account now my balance sheet will get tally right so here my purpose is the document should get split as per the business area wise or profit center wise or segments wise now you got what is the purpose of document splitting so here system cannot only split only put one side when you are splitting it debit it should be credit when the same for each line item system creates one debit one credit for the two because as many number if here if you are splitting into three here also it will get split into three okay um, anyhow I'll explain you little more about the document splitting in the next class just try to understand read the documentation and do it and I'll send this uh, in fact I could not send you the document along with the document I'll send you this recording also okay we meet again in the next class Monday so from Monday once we complete this one we'll take the project work and we'll complete it okay so we'll close today um, uh, Rajesh Yes, sir. Uh, Anusha, just you stay back once. I want to talk to you. Rajesh, uh, me, yes, uh, me the document uh, pumping channel, document recording, uh, the Dropbox. Yeah, yeah. download uh, chasing, sir. What chasing that? Yeah, what chasing, sir. Download okay, right. Are they away online? Yeah. Inke where in Levu? Uh, under one to ten, away yeah, okay. online. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Ne download chasing, sir. Problem. Okay, right, right. Sir, you got the Copa on the sir, the customer perspective point on the sir. Copa on the customer perspective, Kadu. Controlling and profitability analysis. Profitability analysis, yeah, okay. Okay, right, we'll meet again on Monday. Yeah, okay. Anil? Okay. Right then, Rajesh, bye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, Anil, uh, okay, right. Uh, just uh, yes, say, right, we'll meet okay. again on Monday. Hmm? Okay, right then, bye. Uh, Anusha? Yeah. Uh, did Mr. Um, Balaji spoke to anything today? No, no. Is Balaji in time? Are you touching the phone? One time I had a call, sir, but I didn't get a call. You didn't get a call, sir? One time I had a control start, sir, and I had a call, sir. Three weeks back. No, no, I had a call, sir, but I had a call. हाँ इलागा कंट्रोलिंग आई पे इन्दी आह अलमोस्ट इनके एंड को चुन नेक्स्ट वीक आई पोतों ने बेटे नो नेक्स्ट में एंड आस्क हिम टू फॉरवर्ड दी बैलेंस अमाउंट आल्सो ओके मेरो कसार तन की गुच्छे इन्दी मेल बेटे ने नो हाँ ने इलापर में क्या नेक्स्ट वीक एंड टेट मर की इधे फिनिश चेसे सी डॉक्यूमेंट स Okay. Right. Balance at no starting low he paid only ten thousand. So in the balance ten thousand mm -hmm. page yellow matter me ko no my ring hema in the kini. Okay, sorry if you don't mind. Yeah, remind yourself. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I will remind. I put time in the
What is the time um, there? Maaku twelve, so walaki nine on kumba nine morning nine. Acha acha nine morning nine na? Yeah. No, okay, right, right. Okay, sorry, then good change nai puru. Yeah. Okay. Then that time mail pumping change kani respond na wale dinka no. అది రైట్ సో నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ది ప్రాజెక్ట్ చెప్పండి ఇలా అంతా అయిపోయింది ఇంకా కొన్ని ప్రాజెక్ట్ స్టార్ట్ చేస్తున్నాం అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు సెండ్ యూ ద టోటల్ డాక్యుమెంట్ అండ్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ డాక్యుమెంటేషన్ ఉంటుంది ఇంకాను అండ్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ ఎ సివి ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ ఓకే అతని దగ్గర ఏమైనా శాంపుల్ సివీస్ ఉంటే తీసుకోండి లేదంటే నాకు ఉన్న సివి మీకు పంపిస్తాను మీరు ప్రిపేర్ చేయండి అది సంగతి రైట్ ఓకే నాకు ఏ సంగతి అతను చెప్పి మీతో మాట్లాడిన తర్వాత నాకు చెప్పండి రేపు మార్నింగ్ చెప్పిన పని మెయిల్ చేయండి ఏం పర్లేదు అదర్వైజ్ మెయిల్ చేయండి ఓకే రైట్ దెన్